Coach, Georgia turned the tide on Alabama after losing the SEC championship game. They came back and won the national championship game. Your thoughts? Well, if you go back and you view our show last week, I predicted that uh, <laughs> Georgia would win the football game, Mark. And as I said, you know, Alabama had all the confidence because they'd beaten Georgia seven times in a row. However, Georgia had the motivation. I felt Georgia was a better football team overall, and I proved that last week. What was really obvious to me, Mark, was once they lost Williams, who's a great receiver who transferred there from Ohio State for one year, that without him, their receiving core was very mediocre and they can't run the ball near as well as what they should be able to. So without Williams, uh, you look at Brace Young, great quarterback, they had no chance. And he made some great throws, but the receivers didn't make great catches. So looking at that overall, Georgia is the best football team in the country, as I predicted a week ago. Well, they did play well in that football game. Unfortunately for Alabama, they were down at wide receiver, cornerback, and offensive line. But the Georgia defensive front really got after Bryce Young. This time around, Coach, they got four sacks, 10 hits, and 28 hurries on Bryce Young. That's more hurries and attempts than, their, than Georgia's quarterback had, Stenson Bennett. But if you look at this football game, Georgia deserved the win. They played hard. They came back and played a heck of a football game. And congratulations to Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs. I agree with you completely, Mark. It is good for college football, but... College football is not the same as we once knew, Mark, with the NIM and the money, money, money. They tell me that uh, A&M has set aside $25 million for recruiting, which is one reason why they're the number one recruiting class at the present time. And then you look at the transfer portals. When you have starting quarterbacks leaving, going somewhere else, you're going to need a roster in order to find out who's on what team. It used to be like baseball, Mark. When baseball first came out, you looked at a baseball player, you know, whether it be Dale Mitchell in left field for the Cleveland, he was there forever. And then they went to this, oh, now you can't tell who's on what team. You don't have the load. The same things happened in college football, Mark, and I don't think – it's in the best interest of college football as we know it. 